palette knife painting with buttercream is something I have been messing around with and practicing for the last couple of years on and off. It's a technique I really love and I love sharing all of my practice and updates with you guys. So today I want to do the same thing. I'm going to start off with building this layer cake, particularly because I just love the flavor of it. I started off with just a regular standard vanilla cake um, and I had some honey uh, syrup that I created and then I also had a honey buttercream, honey vanilla buttercream um, as well as a fig compote that I put in the center. So first of all, I wanted to show this because highly recommend these flavors. It's so lovely. It was really, really good. Um, I shared it with my parents. They thought it was fantastic. Um, and also I think it's a really good fall flavor or even winter flavor. It's something that's not too sweet, but uh, and also not too strong. If you have any people in your life who don't love chocolate, which I know is a bizarre thought, but I do have some of those in my life. So for many reasons, a good flavor combination to keep tucked away. Anyway, I'm just going to finish stacking this cake. I'm going for three layers with that fig compote and a ring of buttercream between each. Then I'll go ahead and do a crumb coat with this same white um, vanilla honey buttercream. And then I have a gray buttercream that I'm going to cover the cake with as my final cake layer um so yeah i'm just gonna leave this in here in case you're curious about how i stacked or frosted this cake and then we'll get into the good stuff
Okay, for palette knife painting with buttercream, some things you're going to want are um, something like a cutting board, your palette knives, different colors of buttercream, um, and something to keep your cake on so it can be right at the edge if you are putting your um, palette knife uh, flower or whatever design at the on the edge, not on the top. Um, and I do want to say that um, I will walk you through this technique, but I explain far more with basically these same colors in my cupcake palette knife flower tutorial so i'm going to link that below um, and i go way more in depth explaining how i created these flowers and some different looks at that But for now, simply let me just share that I'm starting off with one of my palette knives and I'm going to press it back and forth on my against my cutting board to create a sort of triangle, um, triangular shaped buttercream mound on the bottom of that palette knife, cleaning the top of the palette knife, and then I'm going to go ahead and scrape with my palette knife at about a 45 degree angle, picking up little bits of buttercream as I go. And then you just need to press it against whatever surface you are going to put your flower on, build your flower or whatever on, um, and then release it, pressing down as you go. So that's how you create petals. Um, basically, that's kind of the, the basic maneuver here. And you can go either direction, left or right, to create different, um, differently leaning petals. You can um, use different palette knives to create different shapes. You can gather more or less at one time to create um, different appearances. You can use a toothpick or another palette knife to pull that petal off of the back of your knife. Um, there are so many different things you can do to create different appearances and things once you get this standard technique down. As I mentioned, I go far more into this in other ones of my palette night videos. I just wanted to kind of give a brief little overview about what I'm going to be doing to pick up my petals. And then the main goal of today's video is to show once I have all of these petals, right? Once I've gathered all this buttercream, how do I place it on the side of my cake? Because placing it on the top of a cake, frankly, it's not hard at all. You can do it. It is simple. Once you get the kind of movement down, easy peasy. You just have to feel creative and <laughs> express yourself and create a flower and kind of have no fear in just putting buttercream down. On the side of the cake, now that is difficult. Gravity is working against you. Um, it's hard to maneuver. You can't easily turn your cake upside down to get a different angle, whereas if you're working on a flat surface, you just turn it around. So it is challenging and this was just me practicing trying to get in a little bit more time experimenting with how to place petals on the side of my cake as you see in the beginning it's not too bad i'm just pressing and pulling downward with my palette knife but the more petals i get the more complicated it will be so I'm just going to let you watch this. I hope you enjoy my personal creative expression. Because this technique is still relatively new to me, I don't practice it very often. I don't spend a ton of time on it, even though it's something I truly love. Um, I, I don't have that many words of wisdom <laughs> to share with you. This genuinely is just something that I'm I'm doing for enjoyment and I truly see it as an art form so if it is something that you do differently from me or you don't like my technique that's okay it's fine i respect and appreciate that about you um, but please respect and appreciate that about me too 
All right, so I'm just gonna build up this flower and then I'm gonna go through and try adding <laughs> petals to the bottom of my flower, add a little bit of a smaller flower off to the side and then some petals so it looks a little bit um, more effervescent as if you have a kind of a breeze floating through gathering and sweeping away petals in its wake is kind of what I had in mind. So yeah, here we go.
Thank you very much for watching this little palette knife video. Um, as I mentioned several times, I have other palette knife videos in which I go into further description about what I'm doing, how I'm picking up buttercream, how I'm placing it on my cake, stuff like that. Um, so be sure to check out some of those if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoyed this look at how I created the same similar flowers on the side of a cake. Um, it is a lot of fun to play around with, but it is quite challenging. <laughs> but thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you again in my next video. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye!